I'm glad you're still watching. Hello and welcome back to Tenor with a T. You may remember from my video of four weeks ago where I talked about the reopening of theatres. Things were looking positive, but now there's been a big COVID spike in Europe and once again we're in lockdown and theatres are closed. Hopefully all theatre workers, particularly freelancers, will continue to be supported and compensated financially during this time. Unfortunately, I'm always hearing of people who fall through the cracks, so hopefully with awareness, these problems will be rectified. So here's what has happened. Due to the high number of daily new COVID-19 cases, new restrictions were brought into place on Monday the 2nd of November, lasting until at least the end of the month. During this time, all performances in theatres in Germany have been cancelled, although in most cases, rehearsals continue to be taking place. Some theatres in high-risk areas, such as Staatstheater Augsburg, stopped their performances as soon as the restrictions were announced. That was before last weekend. So what else has been locked down? I can't do this from memory, so I'm going to read this out. This comes from an article I saw in the local.de. From Freizeitgestaltung, which means leisure activities, which includes theatres, operas and cinemas, these have also been locked down. Museums, trade fairs, cinemas, amusement parks, amusement arcades, casinos, betting shops, brothels, swimming pools, saunas, spas, gyms and similar facilities. Professional sports will also be allowed without spectators in November. This also applies to the German Football League. So other things that have been closed include hospitalities, that's cafes, restaurants, bars and other similar venues. Personal care, including beauty salons, massage parlours or tattoo parlours have also been closed. However, essential medical treatments, such as physiotherapy, will remain open. Interestingly enough, hairdressers have also remained open. My hair's getting long, should I get a haircut? Please let me know in the comments. Shops remain open, but are heavily restricted in numbers. Um, schools and kindergartens have also remained open this time. Although travel has been restricted in Germany, um, you're not allowed to stay at a hotel without having a valid business reason. Borders between countries in the EU have remained open. This is a big difference from the first lockdown. Um, I actually have a story about this. It's not about me, it's about a friend of mine. This person uh, had a gig in Russia and they were en route from Paris to Vienna and they got stuck in Vienna for a week because Vienna suddenly went into hard lockdown. And it was a hard lockdown. You weren't allowed to even leave your apartment without a good reason. And they were stuck there and managed to get a flight to Russia and actually do the gig before Russia went into lockdown and then were able to get back to Paris safely. Um, so that was an interesting story. Hopefully nothing like that will happen this time. But um, if this person is watching, they'll know who they are. And if you're watching, hope you're doing well, hope you're safe in Paris, and um, enjoy the video. So I don't know what that means for auditions, but if you're allowed to travel for valid business reasons, that means theoretically auditions can take place. So if anyone knows about this, whether auditions are happening, please let me know and leave a message in the comments. Maybe other singers would like to know this information as well. But we'll see. I mean, theatres are still rehearsing, so theoretically theatres could still be having auditions in this time. How bad are the coronavirus figures? So I checked these on Monday when the lockdowns came into effect when I first tried to record this video. So on the worst day during the first wave of COVID-19 on the 3rd of April 2020, there were 6,174 new cases of COVID-19 in Germany. That figure has been exceeded daily since the 15th of October and peaked on Saturday the 31st of October with 19,059 new cases. Now I'm going to check this right now on Google. I'm going to go to Google and look up COVID cases in Germany. Okay, so during the week it went down a little bit after the lockdown started, but right now, as of today, there's 19,990 cases. So it's actually worse than it was on Saturday the 31st of November last week, so it's getting worse again. Okay. <laughs> so Italy, France, England, Austria and Switzerland, which are countries that I covered in my last video when I was talking about the opera houses that closed, um, they're having similar spikes, so it's not, it's not looking good all over Europe right now. But I know in Melbourne there's been zero new cases for quite a few days now, so that's good news from Melbourne. Hopefully it will stay that way. So to sum up, we are in a much worse state than we were in March. The Chancellor of Germany, Angela Merkel, stated in her press conference on Monday that there is an exponential growth in the spread of the virus. The number of new infections has doubled in the last week, while the number of intensive care patients, as well as the number of patients on respirators, doubled in the last 10 days, and the rate continues to rise. So I'm going to quote the interview. Um, this is what she said in German, translated into English. Um, I use Google Translate for this. If it stays at this high rate, 
then we will reach the limits of our health system's capacity within weeks. We must act to avoid an acute national health emergency, and for that we have to take action. Angela Merkel acknowledged the entertainment and cultural industries such as theatres and cinemas, saying that the government understood their value and would financially support their losses as well. The source of that quote was from Deutsche Welle on the 2nd of November. What other lockdowns are happening in Europe? Of course, I'm an international singer. I'm interested in what's happening all over Europe, including the USA and Australia, because I have friends and colleagues from all these theatres. So what is happening right now? So in Austria, the Wiener Staatsoper has closed. The city of Vienna is also under heavier restrictions than Germany, including a curfew between 8pm and 6am. Due to new restrictions in Switzerland, Opernhaus Zurich has also closed. La Scala opened in September but has been struggling the whole time. It announced its closure a couple of days ago after 18 singers and 9 musicians tested positive to the coronavirus. All other theatres in Italy have been closed as well. Covent Garden, the Metropolitan Opera and the Sydney Opera House of course remain closed. Wrong. Breaking news from Opera Australia. Just three days ago, Opera Australia announced that it would return to the Sydney Opera House after a nine-month hiatus to perform The Merry Widow on the 5th of January 2021. It will be a three-month COVID safe season. So, finally something positive. It's difficult to sum up the effect of this lockdown throughout the entire industry since there's so many different individual cases and industries within the arts. So I'm just going to talk about myself. How does the lockdown affect me and how do I feel about it? I had my last theatre performance in March. The first lockdown came into effect on Friday the 13th of March. The premiere of A Streetcar Named Desire was cancelled on the 14th of March and since then I've had no new performances. My contract ran out on the 31st of July. I managed to do one performance in an outdoor pub in August but since then I've been offered no new work, no theatre performances and no auditions. So for me, the lockdown is very, very depressing. Um, I really, really want it to end. I really want to get out there and audition again. But at the same time, I feel like the situation with the COVID spikes is so high that it's basically a worse situation than it was in the first lockdown. So for me, it's a case of, is my personal situation more important than the health of all the citizens in Germany right now? So basically at this point, I'm not gonna say open up the theaters I'm going to leave that basically to medical experts and politicians. I think it's very important that the safety and health of people come first. So if you want to help artists, make sure we're financially supported. If you hear of any artists falling through the cracks, help them out. Help them uh, negotiate with the bureaucrats responsible for giving them the money. And um, make sure you follow the rules first lockdown. The best advice I can give you is to paraphrase Angela Merkel. The health authorities are doing a great job, but when the number of infected people is too high, they cannot keep up. So what can each and every one of us contribute to bringing numbers down again? A lot. Simply by keeping a minimum distance, wearing the right mouth and nose protection, and observing the rules of hygiene. Keeping a minimum distance. So don't come near me on the street! Wearing the right mouth and don't nose protection. In my face, you and idiot. observing the rules of hygiene. Put your hands in the sink! Keeping the minimum so don't come distance. Near me on the street. Wearing the right of the nose protection and observing the rules of hygiene. Keeping the minimum distance. Wearing the right of the nose protection and observing the rules of hygiene. Keeping the minimum distance. Wearing the right of the nose protection and observing the rules of hygiene. The science clearly states that the spread of the virus is directly linked to the number of contacts and encounters that everyone has. If each of us now significantly reduces the number of encounters outside our own family for a while, we can succeed in stopping and reversing the trend towards more and more infections. Thank you, Angela Merkel. Don't leave theatres and artists without hope. Keep supporting our artists and theatres. And finally, I want to send a message to theatre artists who are protesting. Please remember to support all the artists and don't forget the ones who are not performing artists. Calls to shut down YouTube, Netflix, Spotify, and all these kind of things, including radio, are not going to help these artists who rely on these sources of income during the pandemic. So please remember to support everybody. Thank you very much for watching this video. Remember to support me, watch my channel, like and subscribe to my channel and like this video. And hopefully I see you again all soon with better news. But until then, I'll keep making videos, keep making music, and you'll hear more from me. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you all again soon. Bye-bye.